My name is Daniel Monforti. I'm an application engineer at Regal Technologies. I'm here today to introduce to you the new DG1022Z waveform generator. It's in the DG1000Z family, which also has the 32 and the 62. Um, this one has a frequency range of 25 megahertz. What comes in the box is a USB cable, BNC cable, quick guide, power cord, and of course the instrument itself. Um, general overview of sort of functions it has, it has sine, square, ramp, pulse, also noise. It's dual channel and they're completely capable of producing the same power output um, along with frequency range. They also have arbitrary function which has a whole bunch of other built-in functions along with you're able to pull elsewhere. Um, and it actually totals 160 functions altogether. Um, for each function, you're able to choose between your frequency and period, your amplitude and high level, your offset and low level, um, along with start phase and align phase. You can align with both channel one and channel two. More into the features, we're actually gonna look at the harmonics, which we can turn on the harmonics. You're able to choose up to eight harmonics. Um, so let's actually have it be five harmonics for this. Then you can actually go in and choose your type that you want to go with, with even, odd, or all. Um, you can also choose the different amplitude for each function along with the phase. So it can actually lend itself to d more complex RF signals for testing different filtering or just wanting to create noise in an RF realm. Fully functional sweep and burst functions come standard with this waveform generator. There's also modulation, which we have which allows you to go in and you can choose to modulate different signals along with different types. You can also choose internal or external modulation source. And then you can go and change your amplitude if you wanted to, change your frequency, anything that you really wanted to do. Another function that our DG1022Z waveform generator has is it has the ability to pull signals from our oscilloscopes and that have been captured and reproduce them. Um, for this, I'm just gonna go ahead and choose a ramp function, just so we can see it. Then on our DS4000 oscilloscope, I'm gonna set a reference just so we can view, view it later as, for a comparison. Now that's saved, I'm gonna actually transition over to channel two where I'm gonna go into the arbitrary functions and then into select waveform. In here, I can choose build, um, build function or stored function. For this, I'm going with stored function. The build function has all our extra functions built in. Um, now that I'm in the stored function, I'm gonna go over to our directory and choose our DS4000 oscilloscope. Then in file, I can choose between channel one, two, three, or four for this model. I'm gonna go ahead and read the information over. Now if I turn the output on for channel two along with move our BNC cable over, we should be producing an identical waveform that was produced for channel one. As you can see on our DS4000 oscilloscope, it's producing an identical waveform. Here we pulled 1400 points from the DS4000 oscilloscope and reproduced the signal on our waveform generator. But this waveform generator is capable of producing millions of points to create more complex waveforms while using sci-fi technology to produce signal fidelity. To learn more about sci-fi technology, please take a look at the application note on our website. This product is a great value for the price. It starts at $359 and it comes with 25 megahertz along with 160 different functions built in. If you want to learn more about this product or sci-fi technology, please check it out our website or give us a call. Thank you.